must wage what I have called total war against public enemy number one. I support a change in law to end federal criminal penalties for possession of up to one ounce of marijuana. That marijuana, pot, grass, whatever you want to call it, is probably the most dangerous drug. Some think there won't be room for them in jail. We'll make room. I experimented with marijuana a time or two, and I didn't like it and didn't inhale. And one major responsibility is to encourage people to use less drugs. Entirely legitimate topic uh, for debate. Radical rant. Now you get to watch me make a brick of hempcrete. With Joy Beckerman Marr and Andrea Herman, January 17th, 2015. Hey everybody, Radical Russ here at the Hempcrete Workshop. We're taking a look at the uh, existing model, I guess we call it. You're putting the, the shutters up, right, or the form boards. We um, go right in with lags and use these as spacers. So the lags go into the studs. And, uh, you know, I just kept these in for demonstration purposes only, but these just come out and then you replug the hole up. If so, you're setting this on a footing, Mm -hmm. you, you would have to build the footing to the size of the correct, right? Yeah. And then if you're, if this is the thing I was talking about last night, if you're going to hang a mag board or something on the inside, you can use like a two by six or, right, and have it go right flush here. Yeah, you would just build that out. Right, and then, so say this is your interior side and you want your framing revealed, mm -hmm. you'll still get the same insulation properties right and then on the outside like you were saying you can either board and batten or just use a finish right mm -hmm. yeah that's what i think so so you know this so say this is your footing and you're going to do standard uh, floor joists and you're going to have a crawl space you're going to have to put something underneath it or you're going to have to use a bat correct to insulate there. And then out here, if you wanted to do lap siding, you could just stick frame, right? Yep. Or fur, you know, fur it out. And you could do the same thing. So where where this is what Stu was talking about too, where if you've got this wall and you're gonna have a window sill that's huge on both sides, even yeah. bigger than normal. Yeah. Because you're not gonna put a twelve inch window in. Right? You're going to put a window, it's going to have its, you know, oh, okay. attach on the outside like you did. Mm -hmm. and you'll have to reveal the wood there so that the lip of the yeah. window... In terms frame. of inset window? Yeah. Um, yeah. And if you're... So, on in one direction or the other, say your framing isn't in the... Well, in this, say in this case, you're going to have a header, you're going to have a sill, you're going to set the window, it's going to be back set. Mm -hmm. So you you know you need to think you know, that has to be compensated for. It. So there's no veins on the outside of your vinyl. Well, yeah, or or you would have like like if it was a brick, mm -hmm. you would have a brick sill. Your window would be here. Right. You're, you could have a brick sill. Mm -hmm. Right. We've got our hempcrete kit here. You can see we have N lime whatever type of lime that is. We've got some hemp herd ready to go with that. Yeah, we got some good old fashioned H2O and a tamper. And of course, if you're gonna do this right, you have to have your safety equipment. You got your vinyl safety gloves, your safety goggles, and of course, your safety mask. We're here with Randy. Flew in all the way from Minnesota just to make a brick. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. You had a good camera, too. Oh, yeah. We got it going on. Oh, yeah. Let's get one right here. Okay. We're definitely, <laughs> definitely doing the. Uh, the oh, you're doing, doing a building. video. You're doing a video. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got to have this on the show. So we're going to build, begin building our hempcrete. This is the uh, only closest I've ever come to building anything. So we'll see how this turns out. We want to saturate the herds. We want to add moisture to the herds and we kind of let the herds take on some water because if we just went straight in and put the herds in and put the, the lime in and put the water in and try to start mixing it, just not, the consistency is going to be weird. It's gonna, you're going to be working a lot harder to get 
the consistency you might want. So I'm going to start off with half a bag of birds. And so what he's saying is adding the water now so that the hemp can absorb some of the water. So you can add a third or a half. I'm just going to add a half. And Do you know what in Listen, Don't be shy if you guys want to come up with your own way to mix it. Um, I personally like to really get the bucket sideways so I can get kind of a swooshing technique, you know, like, you know, acting like your hand is a paddle with a mixer. But you want to get all the herd wet, right? So once we know we got all the herd in there and the water's mixed around, then we can add a little bit of our lime. Now we have dye with us, and the dye that we have is base, the basic colors that are in this wall, the orange, the red, and the black. There isn't a lot of dye, but by show of hands, who wants dye? Pretty much everybody. So what we'll do is we'll go around, and it, it will either be me or Doug, and before you guys put your, your lime in, your mix, uh, we will come around and we can just put the dye directly into the bag, and then you'll just kind of move the bag around like this, and that'll mix that dye in there. Did you see that? What he's breathing in right now? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I have one right now. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's below. But see how bad? So You'll want to mix that dye around, and then you can put a little bit of, you'll want to introduce a little bit of your lime. So I'm going to, for the sake of material, I'm just not going to do the dye. So he's using half his bag. We're doing half at a time here, guys, and that's how you're going to want to mix it. Again, because we're hand mixing, if we were paddle mixing, that wouldn't be necessary. But look at that line go. I'm going to have to dust everything after you we do that. I'm going to have to dust. You know that it's going into your lungs because it's sweet. So. What, what's in the body? Yeah, what's in this? Uh, NHL5, natural hydraulic lime, uh, type N hybrided lime, mm -hmm. and there may be another additive um, of some type, maybe there's some gypsum or something, but for the most part it is it's almost entirely NHL5 and type N lime if there's anything else in it. Does so, it um, have that French name that you said? What have you said? Yeah, yeah, Bati Champa. Yeah, and yeah, that'll be it. in the PowerPoint that you'll get viewing access to. Um, at the end shows all of those different products that work great and there's one for body with the like with the um, website. And that's what this is. Yes, body shop, that's what we're using today. So notice too, and he's digging you guys in the bottom like as if, if you were making brownie batter, you would yeah. dig right to the corners of that bowl, you would make sure that your flour was mixed in. The, yeah, the lime is gonna want to travel to the bottom in some cases and kind of get cake in the bottom. So yeah, just like you're making pancakes or whatever. Uh, Next, go ahead and introduce the rest of the herd and the rest of the water. So you'll immediately get, um, obviously there's more material, so it's going to be a little bit harder to churn. So you'll really want to get in there and just kind of work it out. For the sake of time, I brought my margin chaw with me. Because so. he knew that you would all be waiting on him while he was <laughs> describing this to you. And if, oh, you and want, if you want to go to the floor and it's easier for you, you know, there's a... Uh, Oh, I was wondering about that. Another thing I just want to quickly um, tell you is that when you do mix at home, uh, Doug and I make, you know, experiment with batches. We have like some, a big blue tub at the Home Depot and one of these really powerful handheld drills. This one is not as great. This one we like yeah. here. <laughs> this one's cool. And I mean, and you're literally like, I got bruises all up and down my leg because I'm like, because it gets really like, <laughs> but you handle that, man. You're one with the creep. So, so <laughs> I hardly have, have a half a bag of lime left. Uh, you can introduce it. Uh, you know, you can split this into quarters and like there, mix it up. Um, again, for sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and introduce the rest. And I have all my water in here, so this is all we, we literally need for this mix design. And if for some reason, and it's bizarre, every now and again, who knows why, uh, it may be that Matt goes around and just checks to make sure he will have some extra water with yes. him. And if he looks and determines that you need more water, he will tell you why and he'll have some more water. So um, he'll be going around the room with that, both Doug and... Uh, see, <laughs> the lime is actually <coughs> traveling. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that I have huffed in huge amounts of lime. How it gets in your lungs, like in the lungs? Steve, I don't know. I don't know. I, it's 
So to do a quality control real quick on this mix design, I'm going to try to make a little snowball with it. And dry? It's too dry. Mm -hmm. So we'll add a little bit of water. How could you tell that was too dry? Well, I'm kind of looking for that. I'm looking for that sheen too, and I just don't really see the sheen. It's still it's still kind of matty looking. So this probably. So he knew from texture and addition to it, it's Maddie. I'm glad that you asked. That was roughly it. So we'll just mix this up. So whatever you do, guys, we just don't want you putting it into your molds until you sort of have the mat approval. Can you imagine if you brought it home, you guys, and it didn't oh, set right. after yeah. all this? We, we do not want you to have that experience. <laughs> <You're a liar. laughs> yes, it doesn't work. Yeah, it's full of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to do that. That is. And I see the sheen. There. Oh, does it? And, well, he'll show you your own sheen. You guys will learn your own sheen from yeah. your own mix, not to worry. So we just want to make sure that it stays together. And it does. If we crush it, it kind of falls apart. But and if it falls on the floor, you would just pick it up and put it back in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys want to take a look at this real quick, and just kind of bring it around. <laughs> so we got some dye now, orange dye. We got to mix that up in the bag, right there, so we can get that. We'll get that all mixed up here in just a second. All right, now we've added, hoo -hoo, we've added in the lime. You can definitely smell that stuff. Oh! Mix that up. Oh! All right, we finished the mixing portion of the program. We have created our. Hemp Crete ball. Our Hemp Crete ball is displaying the requisite amount of sheen somewhere between Charlie and Martin. So we are now ready to begin pouring it into the form and tamping as required. We've been judged to have the proper level of sheen. Let's start pouring. All right, I think we have completed the process. We have our properly tamped orange dyed hemp creep block. Randy's got the natural color going on there. Sweat. And a little bit of sweat happening too. Look at him go, look at him go, Randy. <laughs> so there you have it, that's our hemp creep demonstration. Here's the finished product, ladies and gentlemen. That's my block of orange dyed hempcrete. Uh, it's not too heavy, obviously. I'm able to hold it here out at arm's length without much effort. Maybe it weighs, I don't know, five pounds, seven pounds, not much to it. But uh, light, uh, airy, still feels cool to the touch. It's still got some humidity and, and it still has some setting to do. Uh, it sets up here in about 24 hours. Of course, you would be pouring this into the wall spaces in between the uh, joists and the stud, the joists on the floor, the studs and the walls. It can even be used in the uh, in the uh, roof for its insulation. Check out hemp-technologies.com to learn more. But that's all the time we got for today. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned next hour. Doug Fine on the phone taking your questions. Until next time, take care of each other, tokers. This is the Russ Belleville Show. The Russ Belleville Show is blogging and podcasting daily at radicalrust.com. You take a seed, you plant it, you grow it, you die it, you